and just outside of the famous Chatu Chak Weekend Market. This is the biggest market in all of Thailand and the biggest weekend market in the entire world. There are over 15,000 stalls inside and over 200,000 people visit this very market every day. Now Greg and I, we are here for two reasons. To eat. Mm. Oh, where it's at, forget mango sticky rice. The locals know what's best. And to eat. That's delicious. And maybe do a little shopping in between, but mainly we're here to eat. As chaotic as markets seem, this market seems extremely organized. For example, we were just in the used jeans section. Across the way is the used tie-dye clothes section. But I, I have a note in my phone that in section 6, there's mango sticky rice. And we happen to be near section 6, so there's one thing I'm headed for. Mango sticky rice, baby. Turns out section 6 <laughs> is huge. I feel like we've been walking for miles. Still no sign of mango sticky rice. And somehow, somehow, we're still in section 6. This market, this market is essentially a market of markets. We, we are right here. It's like each section is its own market. This is section 6 and there are 27 total sections and it took us a while to walk the length of just section six. And I was at first confused because we walked inside into the market and I assumed the entire market was inside. And then we crossed the street and there was cars. So it's like literally just different markets that make up this entire like multiple city block wide area. It is going to be a little harder to find sticky rice than we first imagined, but we're determined. We're gonna find it. We've been in a lot of markets and I have never seen a massage parlor inside of a market. That is, that is perfect. I can go in there, hang out, get a little foot massage. Hillary can walk around, shop, have her fun. It's perfect. Notice there are two guys in there where the women are out shopping, they're getting the foot rub. They know what's going on. Here's a fun fact that seems rather timely in this point. I hate wind chimes. <laughs> I hate them. My mom loves wind chimes. She rings them when I'm at her house. And we happen to be passing through the wind chime section. So there's a fun fact about me, not to bring things down, but I hate the happy sounds of wind chimes. Literally almost shopped till we've dropped, but the good news is we're heading into the daylight and I don't know if you can hear that, but it's a blender, which means food is near. Wow. it the food mecca we are about to try our very first thing here at the market you guys ready for this let's give it a shot Thai water today we're going big we're going big uh, I hate to disappoint but owned by the coca-cola company oh authentic First stop, here's we've created a little bit of a feeding frenzy because no one was at the stand before and now it is packed after I ordered my fried quail eggs. Never had quail eggs before. They just looked so interesting when he was cooking them. 40 baht, just over a dollar. Mm. Similar to a chicken egg, but not, you know, it's a little different. Similar texture. 
Not sure how much I like that or not. It's like close enough to being like an egg, but then it just doesn't. Not my favorite. Famous Thai milk tea. This has more caffeine than coffee, which seems like we're gonna need if we were meant to make it through the market. Oh, that's really good. Milky and sweet. While Greg's busy trying adventurous food like quail eggs, I'm gonna stick to what I've heard in Thailand, maybe the best thing ever, mango sticky rice. I feel like I'm foaming at the mouth. It's not from, what's that when you foam at the mouth? Rabies. It's not from rabies. It's because I've been waiting for this mango sticky rice moment for a long time and it's finally here. Oh my gosh. It cuts so easily. Okay, ready? Mango-y. Sticky, ricey. <laughs> wow, Anthony Bourdain over here. Eating fresh mango is probably one of our favorite things to eat in Mexico because it's something we can't find in the United States. Yeah. And actually, fun fact, the nickname of Bangkok is the Big Mango. So I didn't know that. Yeah, it's only fitting Mang that... Bangkok. Yeah. <laughs> it's only fitting that we have mango sticky rice in the Big Mango. This is not just a point, but my question is, I love the rice and I love the mango, but maybe just because I've never had this before, it feels strange to eat rice with mango. But do you have like a mango bite and then a rice bite, or do you mix it all together? Either way, it's delicious, but I found myself having a mango bite and then a rice bite. Oh yeah, that's a good point. We'll have to ask the Bangkokians. entire market or at least the outside of the entire market and search for food and well we came back to where we started to where I tried the quail eggs and where we had the mango sticky rice talk Thai food it is loud in here it is hectic it is chaotic it is it is a it's a frenzy in here and I love it There's really only one way to know just how spicy it is. Listen, we travel to experience new things, and sometimes that means trying things that maybe you just really don't want to try. Spicy, but not too spicy. It's like a soy sauce. This is why we try things. That is delicious. It's like. The soy, I think it's soy sauce, saltiness, but just the right amount of spice. I was really worried that it was gonna be a delayed spice, but it never, it never happened. So, very glad I tried that. It's going to be delicious on my fried noodles with chicken. My exposure to Asian food in general is pretty limited. So I've never had noodles that look quite like this. They look good though. Very good. Wow. That's delicious. I definitely feel like I'm being punked at this moment because I know for a fact we have not been in this section and somehow <clears throat> the wind chime section is bigger than anyone could really ever want. I mean, who needs that many wind chimes all going at once. Not us, not in the Kennan house. Well, we don't have a house, but <laughs> not the Kennans. And butterflies, oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. My two least favorite things in the world, all in one section of the market. A lot of people go for the mango sticky rice here in Thailand, which we went for earlier, but now I'm here to try what apparently the locals eat, which is sweetened, water chestnuts and coconut milk. 
Now, the only experience I have with chestnuts are in Switzerland and chestnuts roasting on an open fire. I don't know about water chestnuts and coconut milk, but when in Thailand, we're here to try it. Here we have Tub Tim Grob. That's a mouthful, and this looks like a mouthful. This has sweetened coconut milk, shaved ice, jellied coconut flesh, water chestnut, and crunchy red rubies, which are water chestnuts coated with tapioca flour. They also poured coconut milk over the whole thing. I don't know what to expect, but a mouthful of flavor. Wow. Without a doubt, the most unique thing I've ever tried. That's really good. I do taste the water chestnuts, but not in a savory way. They're coated in that tapioca flour and then dunked in coconut milk. It's a little sweetened, a sweet crunch. That's, that's just like I expected. My mouth is exploding with flavor. That is truly, truly unique and really good. I forget mango sticky rice. The locals know what's best. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Man. Mm. I like lechetta or no? No, they like, use coconut milk. Yo, yo, oh. yo. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, try that one. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, film it. Oh, film it. Coconut. Corn. Bolan, bolan. Wow. Now we're the family photographers. <laughs> the sweetness, the coconut, that is. You're not overreacting. The water chestnut is very different. I feel like I'm finding with, whether we're just walking down the streets or we're trying new foods, I'm really struggling to like wrap my mind around what everything is, what it tastes like, what it's similar to, what it's not similar to, because it, everything is so different from anything we have ever tried. You just keep trying to wrap your head around it, okay? I'll just be right here. Judging by the food we've had, I think this might be one of the best market experiences we've ever had, and that's saying a lot. I'm in love, I'm in love. Actually, Greg and I are talking about coming back here to this very market next weekend, but without you guys. <laughs> Like, just like an IC used to get from a from a convenience stand or a convenience store when I was a kid. Except it comes with a little little baggie, not very eco-friendly. I told Hillary actually when we we're eating that I think this has been the most interesting and surprising thing that we have seen thus far. I expected to see different food, almost expected to see squid and octopus and quail eggs and things like that that we're not used to, but I did not expect to see a different style of Coke Ices. I think the Coke is like, was slightly frozen. Uh, yeah, I guess that's, tastes like childhood. Six hours. We have been at the weekend market here in Bangkok, six hours and the sad, an exhilarating part is we really only barely scratched the surface of this market of the 30 sections of the more than 15,000 stalls we barely even saw any of it and I think the overwhelming feeling we have of Bangkok and Thailand is that we are overwhelmed we are in way over our heads we are excited and today really helped us dive deep into Thailand and Bangkok and there are two things that we absolutely love food and markets and today really combined both. Like Greg said earlier, this is truly the heartbeat of any city is the market and today was no different. We are absolutely exhausted. I have 9,200 steps and almost all of those have been here in this very market. We need a nap. And after the nap, we'll see you in the next adventure. Today we are in Bangkok, Thailand and more specifically I don't want to say more specifically. <laughs>